This video will show you how to configure alarms in Onset's Hobolink product, specifically for our remote monitoring systems. This account shows that we have three devices claimed to this account, three U30 remote monitoring systems. What we see here in the alarms icons is we see that we have, for the first device, conference room three, we have an alarm configured and it is not in alarm condition because it's green. The second device, PM Wi-Fi, has no alarms configured. The third device, Water Monitoring U30, does have an alarm set and it is in alarm condition. Let's have a look at that device. We open up the main page for that specific device and we notice that one of the sensors indeed has a set alarm and it's in alarm condition. It's called temperature water. If we go over and look at the graph, we can see that the graph is shaded in pink, partially shaded. And that indicates that we have a high temperature alarm configured, and we are indeed, by looking at the data, above that threshold. To see how this alarm is configured, we can click on the configure icon here next to where it says water monitoring U30. We can also get there by clicking on any specific um, configuration or toolbar next to a specific measurement. Click configure and we'll see that we can get to the alarm configuration here. This brings us to the main alarms configuration page. We have the ability to set both sensors and system alarms. The available systems alarms are based on missed connection, battery low, memory low, or sensor failure. If we click on edit systems alarms, we can go in and configure these alarms accordingly. If we select missed connection, we can put in a time frame to look at missed connection times. By default, it selects the default or, or the uh, single connection interval that we have configured in our readout configuration for the specific device. We can make that longer if we wish. Obviously, we can't make it shorter because it is connecting every 10 minutes. We can also select how we want to be notified. Here with the two basic um, notification methods are either via email or via text message. If you select text message you will need to find out what your address might be from your specific mobile phone carrier. You can also select to be notified if and when the alarm clears. If you select send on clear also you will be notified. If you uncheck this, you will not. The other system alarms that are available are you can be notified if your battery gets low below 4.05 volts, if your memory gets low below 12.5%, or if you get a sensor failure. And again, you can be notified via email or text message. If we back up to the main alarm page, we can see now we can show how to set up sensor alarms. Currently, we just have one. Uh, on temperature and the sensor label is water. Let's see how this is configured. We click on the measurement type and it opens that sensor alarm page. We can see that this specific sensor is set to give us a high alarm above a threshold of 83 degrees for two log data points. And we're logging every five minutes. It's important to understand that Alarm notification is based on logging, a logging interval, not on connection interval. What this means is if you're logging every five minutes, but scheduled to only connect to Hobolink once an hour, if you go into alarm condition, you will be notified at the next, next logging interval, or in five minutes. We selected two log data points on this particular alarm so that we would it, we give time for the sensor to stabilize at that elevated temperature. Um, if it if you want to be notified immediately, you would select one logged data point. And then you can also select how you want to be notified or what kind of action you want to happen. You can, you can select an email, a text message, you can activate the single pole relay, you can close it on the, this again, this is a U30 remote station, you can close the point, you can close the relay, you can open the relay, or you can pulse it. You also have the ability to put in a note in your notification. So if you wanted to be notified, if you want to be uh, something like close the valve or uh, turn on the pump, something like that, whatever your notification might be. 
and if you wanted to add a new sensor alarm you would select add a new sensor select what sensor you want to have that alarm set for and then um, select what your threshold might be either above a specific temperature below a specific value I should say or outside of a specific range uh, you can do that and you can add as many as you wish but at the bottom of the page you can see your um, alarm log if you select full log it will show you all the alarms when they happened and when they cleared um, from the time the logger was assigned to that specific account you also have the ability to remove these or delete these alarms from the log if you wish for more information about hobo products and hobo link please go to our website at onsetcomp.com thank you